Hello, everybody. My name is Rex Emilius, and this here is Apollo. This is Clementine's new baby, Apollo. I like to change the names of the horses. If you have a nice name for Apollo, let me know in the comments. I do like the name Apollo, but we like to change them. I like to uh, make them whatever you guys want to do. Let's uh, let's get some comments on this one. What should we name Apollo? What should we name Apollo? Uh, and uh, I am recording a few, quite a few, not maybe not quite a few, but some episodes ahead. So if you don't see the name change right away with your comment, well, that's why. Uh, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Pigs, we... Oh, let's talk about this over here first. Uh-huh. The manure heap. Uh, you may recall that the manure heap was right by that tree, and now it has moved. And that is because it needed to be closer, and I ha I used this. A learning moment. Let's do a learning moment. Let's go into construction. I used the silo manure heap. This one here, the silo. Here is a silo extension manure heap. And I think this is the one you need to use for uh, connecting it to the pigsty and things like that. So let's see if we have any manure in there. We do. We have manure. Yes. I've never been so happy about manure. There it is. <laughs> so we got that working. We got that working. I did a little bit of landscaping uh, to fix this area up after I moved the manure heap. So there you go. That's the update on that. We Some pigs are doing well. We're going to have some extended uh, menu time here for a few minutes, I think. Because there's there's a lot to get to this episode, but there's not much farming at the beginning here. We'll hope, maybe we'll get to some later. Let me make sure. Oh, uh, before I move on from the manure heap, I did what I did is I sold the old one for 12500 They cost 25000 and since it was more of like a game mechanic type of thing that was an issue, I went ahead and credited myself the, the other 12500 So I didn't lose any money by moving that manure heap, basically. That's what I did. I hope you're okay with it. I'm sure you are. That's there, that's a pretty minor deal. I just didn't want to lose the 12500 And uh, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why right now. Let's, let's dig into some menus. Let's dig into some menus, first of all. Chickens, uh, I went and I filled the chickens up again. I, I did it and then I'm like, wait, I'm gonna, I was gonna let it go down and then sell it. Uh, so now we have more. Uh, <laughs> I'm just silly. I don't know. We're gonna sell the chickens once that goes down. I gotta stop feeding them. I just don't wanna waste that sorghum, especially now. Here's where we are with the, with the pigs. We've got uh, about the same amount of food as last time. And the straw hasn't come down that much, so we weren't going to need much uh, straw. The slurry's come up a little bit, and health is 100%. That's good. Health, 100%. Great. We're going to have 13 new pigs. Uh, we're at, 13 of them are at 25%. So that's looking great. All right. More menu time. Sorry. This is just... I got to get all this stuff out. Uh, let's see. Clementine. So Clementine has the baby, so reproduction zero. Once she reached $5,000 here... She's out the door. She's out the door. Thank you for your baby, Clementine. We are going to sell you now. Ah, <laughs> uh, is that cold? She's going. She's, she'll be going to a nice home. And Twister is going to be after that. And oh, oh, look at this. Yeah, that's why we got to get rid of Clementine because Twister is about to reproduce. Oh my gosh, is it worth selling Clementine for a little less to see if Twister will uh, will reproduce soon? I don't know the answer to that. I think I want to wait till 5,000. We'll just deal with whatever horses. I want to max out. Plus, we spend the most amount of time with each horse. So that's my plan. I'm going to do that. What else in the menu? What else? We go through pigs, chickens. There. We did that. Uh, let's look at the map. And while we're in the menu, let's just get this out of the way. All right. I need the number one priority, and this is emergency priority right now. I need this piece of land down here real bad. It is... 95000 We've got 76000 but we also need to spend $25,000 on a slurry distributor. So we actually only have 50000 We need to come up with 45000 I need this. It's not emergency, emergency, like take out a loan and get it. But this, this is why it's an emergency. Let's go map overview. There we go. Um, pigs take a lot of different types of food. So I, I, I may not even get rid of this road and make this one. I don't know. So this is my plan going forward for this year. 
We're going to do soybeans here, like I talked about. Uh, those are planted in uh, bu- 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 April. That's the latest we can do. Yep, April. Ha! I don't look at me. No, we're in the menu. Planted in April. So we're going to see if, uh, right now there's grass in there. I'm going to see if we can't mow the grass before we plant it in April. We'll see. This is always going to stay grass. This is barley. And most of the barley that we, we're going to harvest in June is going to go to the Lavish Little Levigator. Most of it. It's also going to help feed the pigs. They need grain. And it's also uh, going to put some in the silo. Lots of barley. And I think that's going to... Having that much barley is good because we need to get this flour going, make sure we keep our bakery all supplied up. There, our bakery is not there. Right there. There it is. The bakery's up here. Uh, We need to make sure we have enough flour for the year in the bakery. And also... (laughs) Man, this is getting confusing, and I love it. It's getting confusing, and I, I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Uh, the Bakery Market Stall. I have two names for this. Throw your names in the comments if uh, if you come up with something, or even better, Facebook, Discord, you know, that's where I got the two names from. Uh, we're going to rename that to something. I have a good one. I have a good one uh, from, a, from a viewer. Um, okay, and so then that's the barley. Uh, God, it's everywhere. All right. And then this one, uh, we're going to do, I was going to do start doing our potatoes down here, but we need this big field. We'll start with this. We need this big field for sorghum. We need lots of sorghum for piggies. Uh, we can also do corn for pigs, but I like sorghum because then, well, chickens are going to go away, but the horses also eat sorghum. So I'm going to do sorghum down here after hopefully one more mowing. We will get one more mowing off of this one. And then we will do, uh, in this field, potatoes. Because I just want to keep the potato thing going. We got the equipment. I want to just keep the potato thing going. And maybe we'll be able to get this potato plant down here. And also, we're going to build the oil mill up here. So, oh, my gosh. This wasn't planned with Rex Emilius, but does that all make sense? Uh, the pig says yes. The pig says it makes sense. Give me food, they say. Give me food. Thank you for the nice ride. Apollo, you're a fantastic horse. I can't wait to ride you 8 billion more times. And by the way, I don't know if this is just because I rode Apollo in, but eight horses. One, two, three, four, five. Pintos and three chestnut? Where? Three chestnut? Oh, maybe one disappeared already. Did one disappear? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whatever. All right. I'm going to stop thinking about it. Okay. Let's look at the used gear. More menu time. More menu time. That's right. Nothing but menu time here on Raxabelius. I've seen these two. This one is nice, but not for us. A cedar. And uh, you need 300 horsepower. And this Kubota is uh, is nice, but again, not for us. We have plenty of tractors this size. Two, two is plenty. Two is plenty. Let's get let's let's move on to February second, and uh, we might move on two days. We might get started in March today. Let's see, see what's happening in uh, February second. Here we go. Also, real quick, no contracts, no contracts. We looked at the gear. All the animals are obviously good to go. We'll sleep till nine a.m. We'll sleep in a little bit, which is a little slow. Forestry. We'll change that a little bit. I hope. I hope we'll be able to do a lot of forestry and we'll have more animal stuff to do, things like that, in the winter. And the church bells are ringing on top of the Kubota for contracts? No, none. Not a surprise. Not a surprise. What do we got here? That one we do not need. More trailers. I'm collecting trailers, so that's nice. (laughs) We're not going to spend any more money on a trailer. (laughs) Is there a bale? Ooh, what what is that for? What does that hold? Like that. Huh. Interesting. Uh, What can you change the color to? Anything you want. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, What's this guy? This machine can cut down trees. Oh. uh Uh-huh. Yeah. The Hannibal T-50. Uh, We got the brand. We got this one already. We don't need another one of these. I am collecting trailers. We just don't have the money right now. Is this the bigger rock picker? What do we got? Two meters wide. Uh, is there that with the signature? The signature seventy two hundred rock stone picker. So uh, we got it already ninety nine eighty one, and yeah, all right. There's the used gear. 
Let's, oh, well, we got to run the horses, I guess. And more menu time. Hello, menus. Haven't seen you in a while. Ride the horses. Everybody, I'm sure, is good with food. Yeah, it's only been a month. Yeah. Oh, it's good to see this. Slurry doesn't go up too fast, but we don't have that many pigs in there. So that's fine. This is not going down too fast either, the straw. That's okay with me. And there we go. The horses are coming down on food, but they're doing all right. All right. Let's, uh, speaking of horses, let's take our Kubota. Let's take our Kubota, run the horses. I bet, I think we're just going to go to March 1st, just so we have something to do. We got, I got to do something farming in this episode, right? I've got to farm. I must farm. Thank you all for the wonderful, wonderful ride this morning. I, uh, oh, there's only seven in here again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only seven. But that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. So you just got to kind of take one out, then seven appear, and it, it's, uh, you know, so you have one out and seven in. Uh, it's a little annoying. I made a choice. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's see. Menus. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Clementine. Yeah, we're going to wait till 5,000 because Twister is about to go. We're going to see what happens. I don't think, I think this is going to get to 100%. And if there's not enough room, this will go back down to zero and no horse will reproduce, I think. But the good news is we've got Thelonious right behind uh, right behind uh, Twister. So uh, who else do we have? Who's next after that? Clementine again or Champion? Champion is just coming out of puberty. So we'll sell Clementine for sure before Thelonious uh, has a baby. But the uh, what I'm going to do now is right over here. We're going to uh, split the work a little bit, march the potatoes go in, and that's the field we had already discussed. I'm not going to the menu for this. We've already discussed this field right next to right here. That's oil seed radish. Is going to be potatoes. So let's get that prepped up so it's ready to go for potatoes. We'll get the potato planter over here. All that fantastic stuff. I think we'll probably do one layer of fertilizer on there. There's no way we're going to have enough manure and or slurry to treat this first field. Even if we did, we could, we'll just have to do this in the next field. But I... That, that's going pretty slow over there. We don't have that many pigs. We don't have that many pigs. When that thing goes full bore, we're going to be happy. We'll be very happy. And that's going to be, might even be a year from now. Who knows? Who knows? But let's get this cultivated, first of all. One thing I have been doing off screen is I started a, a little easy mode Silver Run Forest map. Just for the practice for, of, for forestry and using the forestry equipment. So that when we do get to forestry in this series, I'm not going to be completely lost. <laughs> At least I'll have a little bit of... Because it's ugly. Using that like forestry trailer with the cranes and stuff, it, starts out, it started out really, really ugly. And it's getting a little bit better now. So I'm kind of doing that as a practice. And I'm not doing a YouTube series or videos on that. I kind of like the Silver Run Forest map too. It's really neat where maybe... FS25 will have something more kind of similar to that where you're going to have projects on each map. Like in Silver Run, you, there's a there's a yacht project and there is a roller coaster project. And I really like that concept. I don't think that I'm going to get too far on that map. Like I said, it's just more practice with cranes and how the forestry stuff works, things like that. But I just want to let you know, I'm, I'm preparing for forestry on this map. And we're not going to do like major, major forestry at all. We are going to just do a little bit here and there. I do want to get all the productions going. All the productions, which is just a little bit here and there, by the way. Did you know that? <laughs> by, by a little bit here and there, I mean all productions. It's just it's not something that I don't want it to be like a big uh, moneymaker on this map, basically. is, is where It's not going to be a money engine. Like the potatoes? Eh, it's going to be a money engine. The pigs... I would like them to be a money engine, but I don't think they're going to be. The silage obviously is, and the bread and stuff like that is money, but forestry is not going to be money on this map. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it. It does seem as though pianos are a big deal. I don't know. Is that a thing for Poland? Like, is it Polish pianos? Is that a thing? It's kind of like made a big deal on this map where there's like a, a billboard sign over there. That's advertising pianos, and there's the piano shop. So I definitely want to do piano. So maybe that'll be our beginning of forestry. Our beginning goal of forestry will be 
to get that piano shop and then whatever else it takes to make the piano. And I got to look into it. Because I think that's definitely number one goal for forestry. I am very happy that I did not plow this road in. I was seriously considering plowing that road in to make this one big field. I am really, really glad I didn't because there's a lot of variety of crops we need and we don't have enough land to do that. There's a field up over here that is kind of small, which might be nice to buy up at some point as well. There's no extra land on it. So it'd be a cheap arable field uh, without the, the grass and stuff. And that might be our next one. We'll see. We'll see uh, next one after we get the one to the south of our big field there. That one is a, that one is a must. I, I want that one to complete the big grass field down there by the pigs and, and things like that. I'm not going to go to the menu because we've seen enough of the menu. Let's uh, bust out the uh, let's bust out the fertilizer. Well, that's a pretty painless process for a field that size. Let's go grab the potato planter. One thing I did notice, I can't forget this now, field 32 needs lime. Field 32 needs lime before we plant our soybeans over there. Can't forget to do that. In fact, I should probably leave lime on in the menu. Let's do that. Let's leave lime on so I don't forget. Here we go. I wonder how many... I wonder how many of the loads of these potatoes it's going to take to plant this field. I would guess it might take three. Can't be. Yeah, 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 I know. Can't be planted in February. Let's raise it. There we go. I'm bringing it over there. Uh, just so we're all set up for March. And uh, you know what I should do as well is bring that Massey Ferguson. Well, let's wait. Well, is the front weight on? Yeah. There we go. We'll just set this over here for now. And it's time to advance the day already, if you can believe that. Winter, this has been a pretty snowless winter, which is good and bad. I like the seasons in the game. I like the seasons. Let's get over to our Kubota. Horses are ran. Any contracts pop in while we were doing some work? Nope. And the used gear we've already looked at. Let's move on to March. So this is going to be our soybean field. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be our soybean field, and it looks like it is going to be ready. Look at the dark color. More menu time. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, growth. It's dark already. That means I think next month it should be ready to harvest, which is great news. Great news. I do wish I would have fertilized it and rolled it and done everything on it. That was more of an experiment because I was just going to oil, put oil seed radish in it. There's going to be a lot of mowing in March, I think. I hope. Not I think. I hope. How about that? Let's wake up early. <laughs> there might be lots of work to do in March. Let's do 6 a.m. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. Right as I compliment the game on having a nice light winter for snow. Then, the, okay, good, 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 good. What do we got? Fertilizing, accept, and sowing potatoes. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just do it. That's the same equipment we got. And weeding, we can do that, except, ah, oh, that's good. That's good, good, good. Let's do, ah, oh, the snow. Is the snow going to, all right, well, let's see how we can have potatoes in the snow. How about that for, first of all, what's the temperature going to be like? What's the temp? Let's look at the forecast. If it's going to warm up, maybe the snow will go away during the day. Uh, where is it here? Uh, March 1st, 50, this snow is going to melt. The snow's gonna melt. It's already 54 degrees. Why is the snow even here? Let's do this then. I'm going to run the horses first for the day and hope that the snow melts and then things will look a lot nicer. Then we'll get those potatoes planted. After careful deliberation, ah, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna sell Clementine. Menu time. Yep, menu time, sorry. I'm tying 47, 44, and then uh, Twister's going to have a baby next month. 
So that'll replace Clementine. And then in two months, Thelonious will have a baby, and that will replace Twister, which will then be probably $4,700. I just, I don't think that it's worth, you know, I think it's worth more getting another horse up to value and going before. That's what I think. That's what I think. So, and that's all that matters is what I think. That's it. Let's get the, I'm just kidding. Let me know in the comments if you have a problem with what I'm doing. I, I'm up to suggestions and everything like that. And on Facebook and Discord, like I've talked about in the past. I'm up for all that stuff. I'm up for a healthy discussion everywhere. Discuss everywhere. So let's sell Clementine. And then we're going to have another new horse next month. And it's going to be fantastic. I'm not even doing this right. Surprise, surprise. Uh, we got to get to those fields, too. We got we to gotta plant our potatoes. I kind of want a name of the episode <laughs> and a thumbnail that's interesting, so I kind of want to get those, start planting those potatoes while it's snowy. <laughs> For the marketing value. The marketing value of planting potatoes in the snow. That's what I want. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can do this. I can do this right now, this time. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. We're going to do this properly. Not backup. I can backup. That's no problem. So let's back this up into our little spot right here. I say it's no problem, and then I bleh. Let's go X to unfold it. Let's take a look. There we go. What? What's the other? Let's close that cover. It's winter. We need it closed. Let's. Well, uh, uh, nope. I don't know. I can't do it. Okay, I can't do it. It's too much pressure. Clementine, forty-seven hundred dollars. Move to trailer. Yes. Okay. Hello, Clementine. She's going to a happy home. She's going to a happy home. X. Here we go. Let's close that cover. Let's do it. Uh, close cover. N. Boom. There we go. It's winter time. She needs to stay warm. And she's heading off to her new home. So we're going to have a new horse again in April, which is going to be beautiful. So I need horse names. I do have one in, uh, in standby. For my daughter, my daughter A Train. She has one that she wants me to name. So I'm going to name one of them that. We'll see if somebody else comes up with another name. Here we go. And can I just hit R from here? Let's unfold the trailer. We'll bring the cover up for this. Can I just hit R from here? No. Clementine, yes. Select. I can. All right. Sell. Yes. Nice. Okay. That was a little bit less painful than... Let's do that. A little less painful than when we sold Cachette. It's a little easier. It's a little easier. Cachette was one of the uh, one of the two originals. I got Cachette like th episode three. That one was tougher. Clementine is tough too. It was a named horse from a viewer. But uh, yeah, bring me, send me some more names. Send me some more names. The marketing opportunity is here. Let's plant some potatoes in the snow. Let's make sure it works. Oh boy. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, am I just gonna hire this out? Is that what I'm going to do? I can't see what's going on, so maybe I should just hire this out. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I was hoping that the snow would clear where I am planting it. So now I'm double guessing my opportunity to plant in the snow <laughs> is a derpy marketing opportunity all right when we get to this other side let's uh oh you know what we haven't done actually let's get to the other side and we're gonna stop this 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 is madness this is complete madness let's bring that up and uh shut the tractor off we have not since we came to this day we have not looked at the used gear trailer yes yeah those we knew what oh, what's this uh, mini air Nova fold, mini air Nova fold, a special planter 
to plant vegetables. Not quite yet. What's this thing? Tractors. Are, okay. Oh, this is a. This is an electric tracker. Tractor. That's pretty cool. 109 horsepower. That's pretty good. I just want to look at it. We're not going to get it. That's pretty cool, though. I like that. Someday. Someday. Oh, that's that's beautiful. It's not like overly expensive either. Someday. That'll be fun. That'd be fun. Let's do this. Let's move on to the Massey Ferguson. Grab the fertilizer. Because we have a contract to do. Where are we fertilizing? Oh, my gosh. We're fertilizing everywhere. Okay, let's fertilize like mad. Madness fertilizing. 58. Let's go do it. Okay, I think I just did that. <laughs> uh, I just trampled my crops there. I think those are gone. Uh, someday I'll learn. Someday I will learn to not trample my crops. And no, I'm not turning it off. Uh, this is what we're doing. I'm taking these, this potato planter and going home. No, not home. I'm going down to field 17. I took a quick peek down there. I just kind of teleported uh, down to stuff down there and looked at Field 17. And it's clear, so we should be able to see what we're doing down in Field 17. Which is great news. That's just great news. So I'm just going to go do this potato contract, right? Sowing potatoes down there. We might have to make a few trips with this potato planter. We'll see. And I'm using my own potatoes to plant in there. Is that weird? That's kind of weird. But I think it's better than buying seeds. Why would you buy seeds? I just I think we have plenty of potatoes to do it. So basically, in a, in a way, I'm selling however many potatoes this takes. It basically means I'm selling them for $4,100. Plus, plus the the maintenance on the tractor, the planter and stuff. I think that should work out math wise. I don't know. Coming up on the field on the right ear. Yeah, you can see it's cleared of snow. Uh, so thank you to the owner of this field who is, <gasps> oh boy, it's Maria Katowska. Oi, what am I doing down here? That's all right, I'll take her money. All right, let's lower this. I've written down 2475 on the leaders. And uh, I'm going to see how many liters this takes to plant this field. And we'll do the math and see if it was worth planting this field. I just, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Once we're done with this field, we get the results from our test here. I think we're going to be done with the episode. I'm going to plant the potatoes in the other field. So let's just pretend that this is our field. Ooh, look at We're planting potatoes in our field. Here we go. Uh, we're just pretending. Because uh, I like to plant the stuff in our own field, but with the snow, it's just is not working out this episode. I thought it would be gone by now, which it's only 8 a.m., but... So I'm going to plant the potatoes in the other field, do the other contract we have, which is a weeding contract between episodes. But hang out, because we got you got to see what the results are of this test. So we're at 64% on the capacity. We started at 92%, but let's pretend we started at 100 we're at 63% and we're at 30% progress. We are going to have to make another run to get some more potatoes in here. Now, one thing I don't understand with this potato concept is you put potatoes that you've harvested in the back of this and you replant them. Does it like cut them up and then they can sprout from their cut in half potatoes? So you double them up or how does that work? Cause it seems like if you plant a potato and get a potato, that doesn't make any sense. So I'm curious how that works. Now, this is going to be a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. We still have 13% left. We're, we're getting close here. We might make it. I have no problems 
not finishing Maria's field. I have no problems whatsoever. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Maria has stiffed us multiple times on jobs. So if the contract completes, I have no problem whatsoever taking Maria's money without planting the 100% of the field. All right, we got 8% left in the planter. And we've got, oh, we still have like 15% left to do. Let's see. Let's see how it works out. I might have to make a trip for like a couple hundred liters of potatoes. Oh, man. It's going to be close. Oh, bummer. We're going to run out. Oh, 90% complete. That's it. Oh, no. Yep. We ran out. Oh, man. That's funny because I, yeah. Fresh load is here. Let's finish this off and see what the price per thousand liters is to do this. I'm very interested to see what this is going to say. And there it is. There it is. Contract field 17 finished. We've got 24, 29 left. Let me do the math. All right, here it is. The experiment is over. The, the tabulation has been done. We put in 2711 on the 2711 liters and we got paid $4,147. And that means the price per thousand liters was $1,529 per thousand liters. So let's look at this. I mean, it's way more than what we're selling it for. Let's see. Do I know how to play the game? There we go. Potatoes are $214 per thousand liters. So we made $1,500 <laughs> per thousand liters. Great. Great. It was, was a great idea. Great idea. All right. I'm going to start working my way back. I got work to do around the farm between episodes. So I'm going to start working my way back there. I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next episode.